So what's up YouTube? How y'all doing? It's been a while since I've been on here. Uh, you're gonna see this video. I just uploaded a video, which I haven't uploaded it yet. Uh, I need to go do that. Um, it's on the hatch and all. But in this video, we're gonna be working on my truck. I have a little Ranger I use for my little work truck and stuff like that. I gotta replace the ABS sensor on it. So I'm gonna show y'all how to replace the ABS sensor on a 99 Ford Ranger. It's not too hard. But I gotta go get the part real quick. And so we can install it. Check this out. We got snow. Actually, a lot of it's already melted. We got a foot of snow the other night. On December 9th, 2018, we got a foot of snow. Here in Richmond, that's very, very rare. Here in Richmond, Virginia, we'll probably get that in a whole, like, winter in one year. It'll probably equal up to a foot. Or maybe in two years, like two winters, it'll equal up to a foot. We'd never get a foot of snow all at once and supposedly we have never had this much snow in a hundred years or something they said was the last time we had this much snow at one time which is crazy that's uh, Richmond Virginia for you it's very bipolar because right before that it was in the 60s 70s when that weekend and then a few days later we got a foot of snow but uh, anyways, I'm about to head to the store, go get this part so we can install it. Alright, so we're on the way to go get it. I'm going to go to O'Reilly's. I think that's the only place that has the sensor around me. And so I'm going to go get that right now. But I want to talk about this truck a little bit. So this is a 99 Ford Ranger. Uh, Two-wheel drive. I guess it's the XL because it has this little bit of space in the back. With, like two little seats come off the side. Uh, I bought this as a work truck. I cut grass and stuff I'm going full-time this kind of year that's why I don't really upload a lot like in the summer because I was working two jobs and I decided I want to go do lawn care so I some landscaping I'm gonna try to go full-time this year that's why I got this truck I bought this truck for 650 bucks back in September right now it's December the only thing I had to do so far to it is put a pulley on because it was squeaking but it didn't fix it I gotta put a belt on it and then I gotta put the uh, tensioner pulley on which I got all that I just haven't done it because the belt likes to squeak and this ABS sensor and I put tires on it for 350 bucks worth of tires they gave me another set that was like $80 a piece because they didn't have the other ones that I was trying to get so I got a good set of tires for $60 a piece which is not bad and my friend gave me some rims that are 15 inch rims and supposedly it drives better they said but overall this is a pretty good truck but I've been having this one problem lately where the ABS light comes on and it doesn't want to shift properly like it'll shift but it it kind of it sucks at shifting and the uh, speedometer right here will not work. Uh, I'll probably pop on here in a minute and I'll show y'all exactly like what goes on and all that when it pops on. So I did a little bit of research and they say it's the ABS sensor which is in the, in the diff in the rear. There's a little sensor on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace that today. I'm gonna show you how to replace that. And this truck only has 215,000, almost 216,000 miles. So I put like, uh, I, got, like, I got it at 214. So I haven't really put many miles on it. I mostly only drive it for like working and stuff like that. But in the wintertime, I'm gonna be driving it more because right now I cannot get blue out where it's stored at, where I keep it stored. I can't even get it out the driveway right now because there's so much snow around it. And then, yeah, so blue is gonna be parked for a little bit, but I got videos coming of blue and all that. And the hatch is parked right now. That's just covered in snow and I got some stuff for that coming up probably sometime this winter or first thing in the spring I want to get some stuff done with that all right so I got my little sensor right here for the ABS uh, I got some wheel bearings too uh, the front wheel bearings need to be replaced bad in this truck I don't know if I'm gonna do it in this video or a separate video or like today um, I need uh, rotors too and pads but I'm gonna get those after Christmas so I'm debating whether the, because it has like a whole hub assembly I think you get the, for these. And I don't know, it's something like that. I have to look when I 
figure out if I'm gonna do these today or not. And then if it is, I'll just get the whole hub assembly and another pair of bearings. They're not that expensive. They're pretty cheap. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go grab some food, go back to the house. We do might have a national speed by them. Right here, national speed. They, they just opened up here back in the summertime, I think. Early spring, sometime late spring or sometime summer. And uh, I think they're based out of North Carolina, but I heard that's a pretty sweet place. They got some nice cars in there too. They do a whole bunch of stuff. Like build cars, I think, uh, dyno them, stuff like that. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab some food and head back to the house. Our ABS lights on. You can see it right there. And you see, I don't know if you can hear it because it's squeaking so loud. Uh, see, it's struggling to shift. And most time, this isn't even moving, so you can't track how fast you're going. It's doing all right right now. Usually I can't go past about 40, 45. Because it's stuck in that gear. Okay? You can hear it. Center, this is your rear diff and the rear end, and your center is center's right there. It's on the front side of the diff. It's right there. There's a 10 millimeter bolt on top. I'm in the back. I came through the back side right here. I guess to get on your passenger side, you can maybe fit up through right here, like up through here, but it's gonna be hard. But you can see. There's not much room under here. If you have a lift or you lift up the truck, it's gonna help you a little bit. Yeah, there's just really not much room up here. All right, so that's the uh, the sensor. The clips on here, you can take a little flathead screwdriver and pop the clip off. Side by side. That's the new one. That's the old one. You're gonna get a little, uh, a little bit like uh, metal shavings. It's nothing crazy. And there's a the little clip right here and they kind of broke off so hopefully this thing will go back in pretty easily all right so I didn't have an electrical tape for right now I'm just going to use uh, duct tape since there's uh, con those uh, connector pieces that hold this that hold the sensor into this plug they broke off this plug piece um, that's just for now until I get some electrical tape and an electrical tape just to make sure it stays connected. That's it. That's all that's for. And uh, I thought these things had uh, drain plugs. So you can change out your rear diff. I mean, I don't know. I'll actually just take this whole cover off, let it drain, and then reseal it. But this is not leaking or nothing. And it seems like it has plenty of fluid in it. So I ain't really too worried about it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this connection back in. <laughs> Back in there, right there. Tie it back down. Now it's time to put this off. All right, so that's it on this video. There's the uh, part number for your little Ford Ranger. I think these work for those Mazda trucks too, and I don't know what exactly. It's like 1990 up to like 2000 or something. I think they're, these uh, sensors are kind of the same. I believe, if I remember correctly. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, that's it on this video. Um, that's just how you replace your little uh, ABS sensor in the rear end. And yeah. But uh, I got some videos coming up here soon on the hatch and on the blue. Here's a door for blue. And there's a B16 head. 
right under there. Uh, one thing I'm doing to that V16 head is putting uh, valve seals in, which I'm going to be ordering here soon, and some valve seals. I was going to put Supertech valve springs and all that in there right now, and then build the bottom in, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to do valve spring, or uh, valve seals, and that's it. And just throw it in there as a stock head for now, and throw it on there. I got everything to go B20V right there. Water pump timing belt, uh, head gasket, all that. So yeah. So yeah, that's it on this one. Uh, there'll be another video on the truck when I do wheel bearings and like the little harmonic, uh, the little belt on the front, and a few little other things. I'm just throw a little some videos on the channel about the little truck, just in case anybody wants to know how to do some stuff on a little Ranger. There's gonna be a few more uh, videos on that, but that's it on this video. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at 99 blue em1 underscore Tyler. Probably all like behind the scenes and stuff on the cars and stuff like that. But I'll catch y'all in the next one.